everybody, today I decided that I was going to film my autumn makeup look because every single season I try and do a makeup look. So basically this isn't going to be my everyday look because I'm going to, I think I'm going to do a purple lipstick and that's not something that I do every day at all. Um, this is just inspired by autumn so I think that I want this tutorial to be quite chatty so I'm just going to chat my way through about random topics so let's start. So I'm going to begin by priming my face with the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm as a primer. I haven't actually tried any actual primers like meant for the actual job. I would literally just use this um, because it's just cheap. It does make my face go a little bit red though, not going to lie. Now I'm going to use my foundation and this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour foundation and it's got SPF 20 and mine's in the shade 100 ivory and literally I've gone through like a million of these bottles because I just really like this foundation it's like the perfect coverage oh yeah I've got like loads of marks in my hand because I was like swatching my lipsticks but anyway I literally go through so many bottles because it's such good coverage um oh no it's not come out properly oh yeah there we go that's better I basically put a pump and a quarter of this onto my hand um and then let it sit for about 30 seconds just to kind of heat it up and the brush that I'm using is going to be this one I like to use quite a dense brush I'm just going to pop a little bit of my Rimmel Insta Fix and Go on it just to make it a little bit more kind of damp rather than being really dry there we go just because I prefer it like doing that yeah my skin's not the best right now because I haven't been doing my skincare routine at all really over the past few days so I kind of need to but anyway it's literally like the afternoon right now it's like quarter past one or half past one or something I don't know um and I thought I'll wait to do this tutorial oh no I got it in my hair but yeah literally just covering my face I really want to do some like Halloween-y videos on my channel but I just don't know what to film so if you've got any ideas then put it in the comments because um, I would do like Halloween makeup stuff but I don't have the makeup skills to do that because I think you have to be quite artistic to be able to come up with something. Um, I could do a video where I try and recreate someone else's Halloween makeup look um, and that will be quite a funny video because it's not going to come out well I tell you now. Um, I don't know, but I want to do something, probably pumpkin carving. I'm now going to use concealer and I'm actually going to take the concealer out of the collection Primed and Ready Correction and Conceal Kit. Um, but this basically is just the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer to any of us. So, oh, hello. So this is literally what I'm using. It's just like in a tiny little bottle and I just pop this underneath my eye and around my nose and then down my nose. For some reason, foundation doesn't really stick on my nose as well. Um, I don't know why. And that's quite common with a lot of people. So maybe your nose is just more shiny or something. Or I don't know. But anyway, I'm just going to pop this under my eyes. I feel like the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer is quite like cakey in a way. And it can be quite really thick and I didn't like it to start with but I think it kind of offers great coverage and I would never ever ever use this concealer if it wasn't in the lightest shade um I just like it for the fact that it really does brighten your face up and adds coverage at the same time by the way just to let you know I do do the other side as well it just tends to dry quite quick quickly I've nearly uploaded 200 videos on my channel I feel like as I'm filming this video right now, I filmed 192 videos, which is like a lot. Like even some like YouTubers with over a million subscribers haven't done that many videos. So I don't really know what that says about my channel, but um, I don't know, nearly up my 10th video. So I've only been doing YouTube for just over a year. Um, and I have been uploading like three times a week, just for those of you that are new. Um, I upload three times a week and Oh yeah, that's a point. I was supposed to be uploading a Sims video tomorrow for me, so it's probably, I don't know if this video is going up on Monday. If you're watching this and it's a Monday, then I should have been uploading my Sims video today, but I couldn't film it because I forgot to take Sims to Aubrey's. So, you know, never mind. 
Okay, I'm now going to go back in with this same palette here, and I'm actually going to take this kind of powdery shade, that's a powder. Um, I sometimes do actually use the correcting colours, but not today. I don't need to, like they're not essential, I don't really believe in them. So I'm just going to take my brush, and I just kind of set the areas where I put concealer, just because I feel like setting those areas extra to the rest of your face means that it's not going to look as shiny, and it's just going to keep it in place. I'm going to powder all of my face using the collection Sheer Loose Powder using this really nice fluffy brush. So I'm just going to powder away. Yeah, this does tend to oxidise, but it doesn't oxidise the first time I apply it. It oxidises after my third application. Because I have oily skin, I do have to apply it throughout the day when I'm at school. And it does kind of oxidise a little bit later on in the day. But, you know, I can live with that. Yeah, I had a bit of trouble with iMovie last week. Oh my God, it was such a pain. Like I literally thought I would, was gonna have to try and find another app or something because it was literally, it just wasn't working. It wasn't transferring any of the files or anything. And I was literally stressing out, like what the hell am I gonna do? Because iMovie is like the best thing ever. And you know, anything better than iMovie, you're gonna have to pay a lot of money for. So I was just like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, but anyway, the next day it started working again. So I was like, oh, thank heavens. Um, literally, like, YouTube is the most stressful thing I've ever done and the best thing I've ever done. I think YouTube just adds so much, I don't know, it, it's definitely brought out my confidence. By the way, I'm using the Bronze Perfection Matte MUA Bronzer. But yeah, like I said, YouTube's brought out my confidence 100%. Like, obviously, um, when I was younger, I had selective mutism. It's just made me a lot more confident. And I feel like because I'm on camera and I'm literally talking to a camera, I feel completely fine. And whenever I film videos, I don't picture anybody. I don't feel like I'm talking to anyone at all. I just feel like I'm talking to a camera. And then in real life, because I talk like this to a camera, it helps my confidence in real life situations. It's really strange, but it's definitely developed my presentation skills because whenever I do a presentation I tend to talk quite loud because I want people to hear me just like when I'm doing a YouTube video I have to talk quite loud because I want people to be able to hear me so it just helps me and if you don't do YouTube and you want to I would highly recommend it because I love it it's like the best thing ever and you don't have to worry about not having any ideas because there is millions of ideas that you can do like anything absolutely anything like makeup challenges um i think it just like it's not for everybody like some people start youtube and then they have like one video up and then they like cancel it down again it's definitely not for everyone because it's something that some people really like to me it's a hobby it's something i enjoy so i'm trying to find my blusher and i can't find it where are you blusher did i put it somewhere <laughs> Is it just me? But when I'm looking for a product, it's always the product I'm looking for that I can't find. Well, if I can't find this blusher, then... Okay, I'll just have to use one of these. This here is my NYX um, blush palette, and it's got loads of different blush shades. And the shade I tend to go for is this one, but I'm actually going to go for this purpley one because, you know, it's autumn, we've got to mix it up. And I'm going to try and be as subtle as possible with this because I don't want it to be too much. Because it is purple. <laughs> yeah, when it comes near to Christmas, I think I'm going to do another giveaway because I obviously did a giveaway um, when it was like holiday season. So for the holidays, my, my holiday that I went on clarify um so i think i'm gonna do another giveaway for christmas and it's just gonna be like something little again like last time because obviously i don't have that much money and especially around christmas time i will certainly not have that much money because i'm gonna be buying presents um but i just want to get a little something right next i've got my mua highlighter and this is in the shade pink shimmer literally this is the only highlighter I use that's a powder um, so I just take my little brush and pop it and pop it on my face 
hopefully for Christmas, I'm gonna ask for a camera. Well, I am gonna ask for a camera, but hopefully I'll get a camera for Christmas because I do film on my phone and like my phone's all right. Like filming on your phone is fine because the quality's still like pretty decent. But I just think when I turn my head or like, wait, oh, it's not gonna do it now, is it? No. I'm trying to get it to do something that it always does all the time and it's not doing it. So I finished highlighting. I'm not going to contour because I tend not to contour these days. Just sort of bronze a little bit because you can kind of see the kind of contour line anyway. Um, but I do occasionally contour. Look. Oh, never mind. Um, but yeah, I'm just blending it all in. So that's pretty much the base done. Now we're going to move on to eyeshadow, which is where the autumn vibes really do come in. So I'm literally just making this up. I don't even know what I'm doing today. I'm just making it up. So... First of all, I'm going to take my Natural Collection um, eyeshadow, and it's just in a little pot. I swear this would have been like a pound or something. Um, I'm using really cheap eyeshadows today. I'm not like using my Naked palettes or anything like that. I'm using cheap eyeshadows just because I'm, I want to. So I'm going to just take my brush in it. This is basically a really pigmented pale pink, and the fallout is massive, but I don't care. So as you can see, it brightens up the eye. Actually, maybe I should come a bit closer. Maybe that would be a great idea. Now I've got the Zoeva Coco Blend eyeshadow palette and I'm just gonna take a little transition shade just to pop into the crease. And I'm gonna take this one here, which is like a caramelly kind of color. Just a little bit of that and then you kind of just pop it into the crease of your eye. Um, I'm not gonna wing it out because sometimes I'll wing it out, but I'm not gonna because I'm not really feeling like that today. And then I also just pop that a tiny little bit underneath my eye, just to kind of add a tiny bit of definition under your eye, but because it's only a tiny bit, like you can't really see it that much. Um, so it's okay. So that's that for that palette, very briefly mentioned. Where is my other eyeshadow? No, literally, I swear I just had it. What am I doing? What I was looking for was right in front of me. This is a makeup gallery eyeshadow and this is Poundland's own thingy. And I must have had this for like years or something because I don't really go in Poundland anymore or I wouldn't buy makeup from Poundland. Well, I probably would do, but only if I thought it'd be all right. But this eyeshadow is actually really good. And this is a Urban Decay brush. And I'm just gonna pop my brush onto that and then kind of like, put a little bit in the corner and like it doesn't matter if it's not neat it's kind of just about putting the eyeshadow on the inner corner now you just need to put it on the outer corner as well but avoiding the center so I'm basically just kind of putting it on the inner and outer avoiding the center and it's kind of like a halo eye so now I look well good no, I'm joking um this side I'm I'm really bad at eyeshadow just letting you know but you know, you've got to try. Whoa, that's a lot of pigment on that side, Jesus. So now I look really, really scary and that's really good. I'm gonna take this brush here and I'm just gonna kind of blend that out ever so slightly. This is just my normal eyeshadow brush that I used with the transition shade and I just kind of blend that out ever so slightly like all over my lid just so that it's not so harsh. Once I've blended that out as much as I want to right this minute, because I'm going to blend it even more, I'm going to take this, um, another Poundland eyeshadow, I only have two, and I'm just going to use my finger to put a little bit of this onto the centre. And again, it's very, very powerful, so you kind of have to blend it a little bit. Then the other side... like this and then that's when I will go back in with that purple shade and just kind of blend it in so I just literally dab my brush slightly and then you kind of just blend and blend just to kind of get everything to look seamless in a way so that's now done and I'm gonna blend out the edges using my blending brush of my eyeshadow so I'm just gonna blend like this.
So now that that's done, I'm going to take the shade Freshly Toasted again from my Zoeva palette and this angled brush and I'm just going to kind of pop it in there a tiny bit and then pop it along my lash line. I like to use a different shade on my on the bottom lash line than I do on my eyelid just because I just like to do that like it's just my little thing. And then once that's done, you then blend it out again. It's all about the blending, kids. Oh my eye. <laughs> now I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to use my eyebrow pencil, which is in the house somewhere. Don't tell me I'm going to spend for... Oh no, I found it. Thought I was going to spend another hour finding it. So I'm just going to use this Maybelline brow pencil and... I take it, it's just, it says it's in the shade medium brown and it's like a little pencil side. So it's not the most pigmented, which is good because you don't want it to be too pigmented. And I'm just gonna start to fill in my brows. I'm now taking the felt tip side and I literally just kind of run that through and it just kind of darkens your eyebrows a tiny little bit and just fills in all the inside parts. By the way, doing my eyebrows on camera is very difficult so that's why it doesn't look exactly the same as it would do if I was doing this off camera. I'm then going to take the Primark eyebrow palette. Hello, I'm filming a video. Dad, what time can we film our video? Well, yeah, but what time could we film it? Right, I'm just brushing through with this little brush here. Now my eyebrows are done, even though it probably looks really strange. On camera, everything looks a lot lighter than in real life. I'll look in the mirror and like everything looks a lot darker because that's just what happens. Anyway, so I'm now using a mascara and my favorite one, which I probably won't be able to find again, is in this little bag. Um, my favorite one is the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Black extra black and I don't know why this is my favorite one it doesn't like really do that much but it does it's really good but it's not like as good as my others but I still prefer it which is weird I don't usually put any on my bottom lashes just because otherwise it will spread down my face Right, then I'm going to do a second coat. Right, now I'm going to do some lipstick. And today I'm doing a really dark purple colour that I don't think I would ever wear in real life because it's so dark. But on camera, I would definitely wear it. So, where is it? Right, yep, here we go. I haven't worn this in a year. So, you know, it's... um, What is it? It's the Sleek Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. And this one's in the shade Velvet Slipper and it's very very purple these lipsticks are matte and they feel very very dry so if i was going to get a matte lipstick i wouldn't choose one of these but they're okay Right, so this is the lipstick and this is the finished look. But before I actually uh, do anything, I'm going to set it in place with my Rimmel Insta Fix and Glow. And I literally just spray this all over my face. What are you watching? Oh. And then I just pat that in with this just to kind of make it not as watery. So this is my finished every, well no it's not every day, this is my finished autumn makeup look with purple eye and purple lip and if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!